Okay, welcome back. This is our final problem from quiz one, spring 2023, math 302. We're given two surjective functions, f and g, and we want to prove that their composition is also a surjective function. So uh, first it's important, right? Uh, I'm going to draw this backward, which I like to do with compositions because it makes the, uh, <laughs> the composition lettering look easier. So I have a function f from s to t, then I have another function g from t to u. And the composition then, g composed f, see, I don't have to change the order, goes from s to u. So if I'm claiming that g composed f is a surjective function, then my proof requires me to show that every element in u has a g composed f preimage. So um, g composed f is surjective if and only if every u in u has a g composed f preimage. Okay, well, what does that mean? Uh, and of course, where is that, right? Well, it's got to be in s, right? So that means that there's going to be some element of s which is mapped by g composed f to u. Okay, so this is we could say if and only if for every u and u, there exists some s in s such that g composed f applied to s is equal to u. Okay, u has a g composed f preimage, call it s. Okay, that's what we want to prove. So let's take an element in u. So let u be in u. And what do we know? Right? Well, we know that I have two surjective functions. Okay, so there's this little extra notation. You can put it on an arrow to say it's surjective, put it like a double arrow tip. So I have this element u and u. And I know that this function g is surjective, which means that u has a g preimage. So that means there is some little t in t such that g of t is equal to u. So since g is surjective, there exists a t and t such that g of t is equal to u. Notice here I'm using a there exists and I have an explanation in front of it. Okay, so now I have this element t which gets mapped to u and t is in t. But I also know that f is surjective, which means that every element in t has an f preimage. So this little t in t has an f preimage. Namely, there's some little s and s, which f maps to t. So since f is surjective, there exists an s in s such that f of little s is equal to t. But now I can compose these. Thus, if I apply g composed f to this little s, this is the same thing as g of f of s. And f of s is equal to t. So this is equal to g of t. And g of t is equal to u. Therefore, g composed f of s is equal to u. And that is precisely what we said we needed to show. For every element in u, there was an, a G composed F preimage, some S and S, such that G composed F applied to S is equal to U. And that's what we get here. Okay, and that finishes the proof. All right, we will see you next time with quiz number two.